Okay, we're going to look at Blocks app. This is just a quick overview of what the Blocks app is, gives you some background information, where to get it and how to get going. Now, I have looked in previous tutorials to do with looking at Pingendo and Blocks app is similar to this. It's a visual editor for creating websites using the Bootstrap framework. Now, how it differs from Pingendo, Pingendo is free. Um, it's available for Mac, PC, and Linux. It can only be used online, so you have to have an internet connection to use it, whereas Blocks app, you don't need an internet connection. Blocks app also is only available on Apple Mac, um, and also it you have to buy it. It's not free, um, which is around about $69 or around 45 to 48 pounds um, in sterling. Right, so you can make a site that looks like this, trendy, responsive website um, like this. So you can create that sort of look. Now, who would want to use a uh, Blocks app? Probably somebody who wants to make mock-ups and quick static sites. Maybe you're a designer and you're pretty comfortable using things like InDesign. This would be an easy program to use. Now, Blocks app, it's at blocksapp.com. You go there, it gives you some good information about promotional information about what it is and what it does. Down at the bottom, it gives you opportunity to have a free trial. Free trial only lasts five days. Remember, it's only for Apple Mac. So I strongly advise you do some research, read the documentation on this website, find out other information to do with tutorials and reviews. And before you download the trial, make sure you've got time to play around with it. Sometimes you download a trial, you have 30 days, never get around to using it. We've only got five days, so make sure you know you have um, time set aside to have a good play around with it and find out um, does it do everything that you want it to do and have you done some research. Now you can download the trial. Also, he has the opportunity, if you're happy with that, to go on and, and buy it. It's not a subscription, you just pay off a one-off fee. I think you do need to connect the internet every about 30 days, like most of programs these days do, but you won't need to be connected to the internet like Pingendo. Pingendo just doesn't work if you don't have an internet connection. This will work. Now, the site also has a good documentation and also a good support section. It has um, a forum where users can post help and get help and they have their, their staff and developers will also contribute to that to give some help and tips. Also, what's excellent on here, which again, when I was playing around Pingendo, there wasn't a lot of documentation. Um, here has really, really good documentation. You go through here, it has all the keyboard shortcuts and explains every part of the app and how you should use it. And you do pretty exclusive about information. So that's really, really good as well. So you, you know, read all that before you properly download it to become au okay fait with it. Also, it is in development. It's a very new application and it's being developed all the time. And it does give you information about what's coming ahead, what's going to be added to it as well, and how they're sorting out any possible glitches. Good place to go there will be the um, Blocks app uh, Twitter feed. Um, also, you can um, find there's some other information on there as well to do with, there might be some video tutorials that you can go and find out other information. So, you know, that's well worth a look to make sure you're, you know, you're happy with how everything's working on that. All right. Now, once you, you've done your, done your research, I would basically, you know, just download the trial, make sure you set aside time to use it and have a play around. I'm going to do some future tutorials which is going to look at how to get up and running and making a simple site, export it and put it online.